Hey everybody, this is Sayon Johnson with Cigar Conversations, bringing you another segment. We're going to go with this one as a quick puff. Now, I'm not sure how I many of uh, the brothers and sisters of the Leaf out there that actually have insurance, life insurance. Um, it becomes tricky and sometimes when we're filling the form out where it says, um, do you uh, partake in any tobacco products, whether it be chewables, uh, cigars, cigarettes, uh, which box do you remember to check? You know, wink, wink. So today, I have with me one of uh, this, one of this one of these guys that actually has a phenomenal niche when it comes to insurance. And I got with me here today, David Arlinghouse. Hey, I'm glad to be here, Sayon. <laughs> Thank you for being here, man. Listen, how? Why the niche? I mean, uh, how did you get into this? What was the aha moment for this particular market? Okay, so just to, just to kind of back up a little bit, Cigar Life Guy, basically, I'm the cigar smoker's life insurance broker. What we do is we get cigar smokers, no matter how many cigars they smoke, you know, even if it's daily or multiple cigars a day, we can get them non-tobacco rates on, on their life insurance, which order of magnitude saves people about 70%. It takes a, somebody's bill from $300 down to $100 a month. And, um, you know, as far as, you know, what, what the aha moment was for me is, as far as starting this as a business, um, I've been in the life insurance business for over a decade. And um, I've been a cigar smoker for a long time. And, you know, two things. I mean, I'm, I'm, I was looking for... Um, something that could be a, a fun lifestyle business that would allow me to combine um, something I love, cigars, with something that I'm really good at professionally. And that's, you know, this financial services space that I got some experience in. And then the, the, the real germ for the idea came from just hanging out with my boys at the cigar shop. You know, you have, have the normal conversation with folks around what is it you do for work, you know, that kind of thing we all have. Right. And it just naturally kind of flows. And I realized I'm saving these guys. I'm not trying to push anything or sell anything, but I'm saving my cigar, my friends, uh, you know, a couple thousand bucks a pop uh, a year and, and they're happy as can be. And, and, and it's like, how can I, how can I scale this? How can I do this instead of just in my neighborhood? How can I do this nationally? And, and that's so, what I've been doing. So can I say, um, I wonder if there's a trademark on this. I just saved a bunch of money by switching my, my life insurance to a cigar guy. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I'll stay out of all that. I think somebody might 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 have. Uh, you might get that call, <laughs> get that yeah. phone call. <laughs> all right. Now, the next question is, um, with all this, am I going to get caught up in the fine print? Because it sounds so, it, it sounds it, it sounds so good to be true, but. Am I going to get caught up in the fine print? You know, tell me about that. It's 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 really the, the insurance part of this. And hopefully, you know, 85 percent of our conversation today is going to be about cigars, not insurance, because the insurance part, actually, it's real. It is real easy. And it's a five minute phone conversation with me if it's something folks are interested in, um, you know, to figure, you know, figure out how it all works and whatnot. But um, as far as fine print, I mean. One, you can't also smoke cigarettes or, or you can't do the vaping or e-cigarettes or whatever, but you, you got to be just a cigar guy. You can't be a gal. You can't also smoke the cigarettes. Well, you know what? Um, I, for one, can't, uh, can't lie on mine because, you know, I'm all, I'm all over the place. And actually, as a matter of fact, so are you, too. I think... Um, we I, I got cigar... I got guys... I got guys that own cigar companies that tell me... <laughs> Don't worry. I, I got a guy and he, what he did is, you know, I mean, so, so it's like, trust me, even though you and I think about it in a common sense kind of way, a lot of our buddies that are in this, I mean, in this business, <laughs> don't see it quite as, as cleanly as you and I do, or, you know, ignoring what the right thing to do is they just, they don't see reality. Yep. 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 
Now, uh, let me ask a question. You, you touched on it earlier, um, you know, different different spots that um, you, you go to and, uh, and smoke a cigar. Where, uh, where do you normally frequent? The first time we ran into each other was actually at um, uh, 10 ATL. And then the following day, uh, the very next day, we were at a Cigar City Club. Um, where, do, where do you hang out? So, so as far from a business standpoint, I, you know, most of my business is online. I mean, I, I, it's truly, it's a national company. Um, most people find me either through the website, cigarlifeguy.com or social media at Cigar Life Guy. And, uh, you know, most of my clients, I never meet them at all. As far as events, yeah, I'm all over the place here in Atlanta, um, you, you know, it, it, as, as time permits. And, you know, knock on wood, with this COVID wrapping up, I've got about uh, six or seven large multi-day events across the country that I plan to participate in, uh, you know, here in 2021. And just super excited about that. But on a day-to-day basis, you're most likely to find me at the Highland Cigar Club uh, or Highland Cigar Company in uh, near downtown Atlanta. I'm, I'm in there four or five days a week. And as soon as we wrap this up, I'm probably headed up there for a, for a smoke or two this afternoon. Do me a favor. Uh, when you get there, uh, tell Cliff I say hi, and he's gonna see me by the end of the w- end of the week. Um, let me ask you a question. When you're there uh, hanging out, uh, if you see a newbie, I don't know, um, biting a cigar, you know, because he doesn't have a cutter or whatever it is, do you, uh, you know, do you give any tips to uh, to newbies when you're there? How do you feel about that? Well, you know, I, I try, I, I try to, you know, first of all, you got to be tactful how you point anything out to anybody. Say, so, you know, I try, you know, when I'm, when I'm a guest in an establishment, uh, you know, even if it's a great place, place like Highland, I try not to overstep and, and, uh, you know, interject myself into somebody else's um, experience. But if somebody, if somebody's new and, and, and asks for help uh, or, or, or reaches out, what I would tell them is be yourself. You smoke, you. You know, don't worry about what Seon's smoking or what. don't worry about what Dave's smoking or what your buddies are smoking. Um, smoke what you enjoy. Um, try a number of different things. Um, you can do that. You know, you can, you can buy online. You know, there's some options. Uh, you can buy different sampler packs, uh, bricks and mortar, you know, leverage a tobacconist, figure out what, what you like take notes even if it's just a mental note you know this is what i this is a cigar that i had this is a cigar that i like this is what i liked about it and then when you go back and you see cliff at highland um you say hey cliff you know the other week i had blah 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 blah. i really enjoyed it do you have something that might be similar to it and cliff can point you in the right direction and that you know i mean that's how cliff earns his earns his keep uh, Cliff being the the the, the manager there at at, um, at Highland, Highland you know, so um, that that would be my my advice is smoke what you enjoy. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing, and then you know experiment and, and experiment and build upon that. And take and take notes, take notes. Keep save those labels or take a picture of um the the one that really stands out to you. So you know what, I love this. You go back, you see Cliff, you say, hey. I love this one. I definitely want to get um, two or three of these. What else do you recommend around the same flavor profile so you have options? So that's definitely definitely a great way to go. Absolutely, and and you know, and I'm I'm a mental memory kind of guy, like like or mental note taker, if you will. Like like, you know, it you you know yourself. I mean, most of us are not you know 22 when we start smoking cigars, right? We we're we're we're, we're grown men or women. We we kind of know what works for us don't get hung up on that, how you take the notes. I mean, you don't need to have this, you know, if it works for you and you enjoy it, journal it, you know, be very, very um, uh, detailed about it. Or if you just, if you can mentally remember, it's just snapping that picture on of the band and throwing it in your phone and that jogs your memory. Great. But the important thing is, is do memorialize your cigars in some way so that you're able to act upon you know, that $15 that you spent on that cigar, you you know, uh, whether you liked it or not, you know, so. All right. I think that's about it. And what I definitely am glad we we know exactly where you hang out. So if we have any questions and I walk into Highland or uh, Cigar City or even uh, 10 ATL, um, 
I feel comfortable walking up to you because of that shirt you got on. You look like a salesman with that shirt. You look like a rep. So I definitely walk up and ask you quest a few questions. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you know that, that that's that, that that's that's the, the the curse. I mean, it's actually it's great for business because it starts a lot of conversations. That said, everybody loves me until they real and they they really really want to talk to me until they realize I don't actually work for a cigar company and I'm not going to give them a free cigar. <laughs> You know, exactly. <laughs> and then there's, there's that, there's that, there's that pregnant, awkward, um, uh, about, about how do I get out of this conversation? Uh, um, you know, you, 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 yep, yep, yep. It's all. But, hey, Dave, listen, yeah. it's been a pleasure, man. Um, thank you very much. And I'm going to actually have Dave's information down here and the link will be definitely be in the bio. So if you need any, if you need any more questions answered, because no one, um, policy fits all so feel free if you see him out and about feel free of uh walking up and asking him a question you know get some uh direct say, answers say on if i could just interject one last thing and this What's is that? this is just life insurance in general is much much less expensive than what the average consumer believes it is okay and this is not a me talking. This is like, this is actual uh, industry data. Most people overestimate what their life insurance policy is going to cost by a factor of three. And this has nothing to do with the smoking or non-smoking or whatever. Mm. So it is more affordable than you think. Most likely, if you're younger and healthy, you can get something that's going to be meaningful for your family in the well, well under $100 a month, probably closer to $50 a month kind of range. Um, so it's much more affordable than you think. And it's an easy five minute phone conversation with me over the phone to see if it's something that makes sense for you. And if it is, we move on to kind of next steps, but it's, it's a very easy process. I don't need to come out to your house or anything like that, that you know, horror stories you've heard, you know, from years ago, it's all electronic and, and, uh, over the phone and easy to do. And, um, you know, it, it's a really easy process and don't not get it because you think it's too expensive. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, I think on that note, I'm definitely going to end it and say we're going to catch up at our Highlands or at the next spot. And until then, I want you and I to have some great cigar conversations. Likewise, my friend. Light it up, light it up